Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a couple variations of the four to one mechanical advantage system. Now I've already made a video on how to do the two to one, the four to one and a six to one. And it's a pretty good video, but looking back at that video, I kind of shortchanged uh, the four to one uh, because I just showed you how to use a set of fours okay um, but there's other variations of the four to one and i'm going to show you two different ones today and the first one is a system that lends itself really well to a barn just like you see here and if you look up here i've got three pulleys in a row on a horizontal beam and I'm going to show you how to tie a four to one, and this is something you could set up in a barn that you could leave if you had to raise objects from the ground level to a loft, say, you know. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with my first pulley, stick my rope through. Okay, and now you'll need a double pulley at this point. And what you want to do is feed it to the rear shiv, bring it through. Okay, at that point that can just hang. And then take your rope. Now here's what's important. Uh, this middle pulley, you need to come from the side opposite the first pulley. Okay, so don't do this. You want to go this direction. Okay, so feed that through. Okay, that's gonna bring my pulley back up. And at this point, I'm going to feed it through here. Okay. All right, let's pull some more slack out. Now our last single pulley up here, I'm gonna feed this direction. I've got a weight down here. And I'm gonna hook that into it. Okay. So now I'm gonna step back. This is a four to one mechanical advantage system. Now the beauty of this is, is you, if you have two people, uh, they can each grab the end here and pull. So two people can be lifting this load. Okay. So that kind of cuts the work in half automatically. However, if you don't have another person to help you, you can take into your rope and tie a figure of eight knot on the end. Okay. Now I already have an anchor set up here. You can tie this around the post in your barn, what have you, it doesn't matter, as long as it's secured. And on the other end, um, you can pull and raise it just like before, a one person load. Okay. Now, if you want this to have a load capture on it, so you can let go and not have it fall. Um, I've already pre-rigged something down here. And all it is, is a change of direction pulley off another anchor. And if you have a barn, you're going to have tons of posts to work off of. And I've got a Prusik of a load capture. And uh, if you don't know how to tie this, I've got tons of videos on how to tie this. And if you pull up, you can raise it, let go. Progress capture captures it. You don't have to worry about dropping anything. And you have a four to one system here that's gonna raise your load. So imagine this system high in your rafters in your barn 
and you can raise your whatever object you have to where you need it to be okay and you can even stand back here and pull on it and my progress capture is going to stop it okay so that's kind of a neat system for a four to one and to lower it you know assuming you're gonna have your object you're gonna unload it at the top but if, if you had to lower it simply a matter of opening up my prusik and slowly lowering the object okay and it's on the ground okay so that is a kind of a neat application of a four to one and uh if you have a barn i'd uh how they recommend you set something like this up to get it from the ground to your loft and hang on for the second version of the four to one for horizontal loads so hang tight the next video is coming right up okay i'm going to show you version two now of a four to one and i've kind of created a little scenario here i've got my lawnmower and we're gonna pretend it's stuck we gotta get it up the hill so i've chosen an anchor and i've got an anchor plate and i've got the rope terminated at the anchor as all evens mechanical advantage systems do okay so i'm gonna take this rope and i'm gonna go down to my lawnmower now this principle is uh, applicable to off-road recovery too, you know, for your dune buggies or or what have you. So don't think uh, this is limited just for this lawnmower. Okay. Now a lot of times you'll you can watch videos on using snatch box and winches and stuff like that and they're using mechanical advantage with the winch a lot of times and they're using two to ones four to ones and what have you so but anyway okay right now what i've created is a two to one okay the movable pulleys at the load and if i were to pull on this okay it's not wanting to go anywhere part of the problem is i have it in park okay so I'm not worried about moving this. I want to show you how to how to set up the system. Okay, so let's make this into a four to one. And what we want to do is we want to come back here. And we want to put another pulley in right here. Okay. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a double pulley and I'm going to switch that single up. And let's get that knot out of there. Okay, so I'm going to stop and pause right there. So you got the termination, a single pulley. Then I'm going to come up here. And where I had the single pulley, I'm gonna put the double pulley in. Or, if you didn't have a double pulley, you could put another single in here. Another carabiner, another single. That's an option. But since I have a double, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, so I got this one. back in don't need a single okay right now I have created a four to one mechanical advantage system and now this thing is brake is on let's see if I can move it no <laughs> it's not wanting to move okay but 
if I had to break off, this, this is a heavy machine. Uh, but the, in, in a nutshell, though, this is a four to one mechanical advantage. So, and again, if you don't have a double like I do, you can use two singles here. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna step back and let you look at it again. Terminates, goes to a pulley, comes back to another pulley, which is a change of direction where my foot is. Goes back to the pulley again, that double sheave pulley. If you don't have a double sheave, use two singles, and you have created a four to one mechanical advantage system. Okay? And uh, obviously, if you're going to move a vehicle, take the brake off. Right? So, okay. Hope this helps, and uh, hopefully uh, um, you've learned something today on these two ways of doing a four-to-one. They're really handy, really handy to know. See you on the next one.